Mel, as an interventional radiologist, you use a lot of imaging. Yeah. Um, do you ever experience a patient who comes into your office who doesn't really have spider veins or varicose veins, but when you look at them with ultrasound, you actually find that they have a venous disorder? Yes, every now and again we'll come across patients who visually, on visual inspection, do not appear to have typical venous disease. They don't have spider veins, they may not have large bulging veins. They might have other symptoms or other stigmata of venous disease, change in colors of their ankles, swelling of their legs, and probably leg swelling is probably the most common cause of, uh, for patients coming into the office wondering if they have venous disease. And sometimes the only way to really figure it out is to really do an ultrasound and to see if their venous system is functioning. And there are a lot of people who are concerned about, do I have a blood clot? Am I prone to a blood clot? Is that going to happen to me? It happened to my friend or it happened to somebody I read about in the newspaper. Is it going to happen to me? And that will drive patients into the office. And you often have to reassure them, but most patients have normal venous systems. And it's typical for patients not to have symptoms. If they, if they have no venous disease, they're unlikely to have symptoms people will know if they have venous disease. They'll see the veins, they'll see the swelling.